So for the qualifying times from the fourth row back. As cars begin to make their way out to the speedway, heat race number one brought to you by Simpson Race Products. Fourteen heat race winners so far in the 2024 season out of 21 total heat races contested. C.V. Grant and Rogers at three each, Westfall and Bacon, each with a pair of heat races so far this season. As the cars will begin to stage out to the front straightway, while things are quiet, we'll set the field here in Simpson Race Products Heat Race number one. Driver on the pole at a Rushville, Indiana. Driver of the Bombo Link Liquor Outlet. A.J. Felker Power. DRC chassis number 32 is going to be Garrett Abrams lining up next to him. You'll find Matt Westfall. He's out of Pleasant Hill, Ohio. He pilots the Ray Marshall Motorsports Buckeye Machine Fabricators. Gressman DRC chassis number 33M. Second row from the inside, out of Rockland, California, the Suburban Subaru, Factory Kane, Amy Gardner Roofing, Dragonfly Aviation, Hitchman 80 number 12, it'll be the Madman of Robert Ballou. And next to him in three, that's Kevin Thomas Jr. He's out of Coleman, Alabama, driving the Inferno Armor Lynch Machining, Stanton Mach 1 chassis, Rocksteady Racing number 3R. Out of Anaheim, California, Jake Swanson will roll from the fifth starting spot in the Honest Abe Roofing, Bennick Enterprises, Claxon DRC chassis number 2B. And lining up to his right tonight's Honest Abe Roofing Quick Qualifier, Dason Pursley at a Locust Grove, Oklahoma. The Apache Transport One-Way Power DRC Chassis, Oakcraft Elegant Cabinetry, Amsoil, Beaver Stripes, RSS Industries, number 21AZ. Final row from the inside at the Mount Pocono, Pennsylvania, Joey Amantia, the JPA Masonry Newman's Triple X, number 88J. And your final starter is set to be Ryan Barr. He's out of Piqua, Ohio, driving the Charger Manufacturing, Claxton DRC Chassis, Midway Tool, ComConnect, Barr Family Racing, number 21B. As that'll be your scheduled lineup here in Simpson Race Products, Heat Race, number one. 33rd consecutive season of competition here at the Berg with the USAC Amsoil Sprint Car National Championship. This is the 72nd time the series has paid a visit here to the High Banks. Fourteen drivers with multiple wins throughout those 71 previous visits. 35 overall different winners. Darlin leads with seven. Justin Grand looking to tie him tonight. He has six. John Stambro, Kevin Thomas Jr. each with five. Jack Hewitt at four. Brady Bacon, Kevin Briscoe, Brian Clausen, and Ricky Hood. At three wins, Tony Elliott, Levi Jones, C.J. Leary, Danny Milburn, who won the inaugural visit of the United States Auto Club here to the Berg, along with Brian Tyler, each with a pair of wins. Quick reminder to everybody in the grandstands, there is no smoking, there is no vaping, there is no, uh, um, well, funny business at all either. So if you do have to smoke, please go back under the grandstands and back away from the general public. This is a fairgrounds facility, and again, there is no smoking in the grandstands. Cars beginning to line up. I believe Drake might have something down trackside. Scrap that, apparently. Not the case here as we did have a car roll up into the exit lane. A little bit of moisture laid down on the racing surface during opening ceremonies, letting drivers go ahead and buzz the racetrack, make sure everything is ready to go. Being shown where the NOS Energy start can is over in turn number four.
Toyota Racing Development, pace truck down into the infield. Garrett Abrams, Matt Westfall, run number one, Robert Blue, Kevin Thomas Jr., run number two, Jake Swanson, Dason Percy, run number three, Joey Mantia, Ryan Barr. In row number four, side by side until they reach the NOS Energy start can off of turn number four. The green flag flies, we're underway. Field going to dash off into turns one and two, side by side. Three rows deep onto the back straightaway. Westfall and 33 going to have the advantage to the outside as they work onto the back straightaway. Car hopping a little bit now. Look to the outside for a driver. Really putting on a run here. That is the three of Kevin Thomas Jr. Wow. Thomas, like a rocket off a of turn number four, hit the front straightaway. Not done there. Looks to the inside. Battle for the lead. Brewing here. He's going to work to the inside of turn number four. And you'll have a new leader here in Simpson Race Products. Heat race number one. Kevin Thomas Jr. going to take over. Takes it away on lap number two. Robert Ballou went to victory lane here last Saturday night. Moves it up into the second spot. Matt Westfall getting a shuffle back to third. Dason Percy right now sitting in fourth. Works the inside off of turn number four as caution lights going to blink on. Debris caution spotted over in turn number four. Safety crew is going to make their way over. Left side nerf iron off of the 21B. Car bounced pretty violently, so he ran over it. Somehow, the left rear tire still inflated. So single file this time coming to the green. Kevin Thomas Jr. taking over at two laps completed. He'll have Robert Ballou on his back bumper. Westfall led lap number one. He's fallen to third. Jason Persley running in fourth. Jake Swanson in fifth. Garrett Abrams, Joey Mantia, and Ryan Barr. Round at your lineup as we go back to green. Feel working onto the back straightway. Kevin Thomas putting some distance between himself and Ballou. Works down to the bottom side of the speedway. High side of three and four is where he got the run. It was the bottom side where he got the pass for the lead, though. As Ballou goes top shelf over and turns one and two, Westfall's got some company. Dason Pursley trying to close in and make something of it. They're side by side behind them. That'll be for the fifth spot. Your pole sitter, Garrett Abrams, trying to hold on to the position in the Bobo Link Licker, number 32. He'll have the Honest Day Brewery, number 2B, peeking out of the inside. Pair of battles, third all the way back through six right now. Anybody's race as Matt Westfall continues to hold on to the show position. Pursley sitting in a transfer spot in the Team Arizona race at number 21, trying to get one more spot, though. Swanson, meanwhile, able to get up and take hold of the fifth spot. Abrams back to six. Amantia Barr still running out your running order as they come to the wave of the white flag and one to go. As up on the high side, Pursley going to give him the old what's up, brother, as he makes his way by. He'll take over the third spot, bobbles it off at the bottom, and Westfall... Going to come back to his inside battle for the third spot to the back straightway. Checkered flag, though, going to fly in this one. Kevin Thomas Jr. picks up the heat race win. Robert Ballou going to cross in second. Nason Pursley holds on to third. Matt Westfall crosses in four. Jake Swanson, Garrett Abrams, Joey Manti, and Ryan Barr unofficially running out your field. So your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Simpson Race Products, heat race number one. He is out of Coleman, Alabama. He pilots the Inferno Armor, Stanton Powered, Mach 1 Chassis, Lucas Oil Center, Lynch Machine, number three, our race fans. Give him a hand, Kevin Thomas, Jr. Kevin Thomas, a five-time winner here at Lawrenceburg, tied with John Stamborough. He'll pick up the heat race win. Robert Ballou in second, Dason Persley in third, Matt Westfall, Jake Swanson, Garrett Abrams, Joey Mantia, and Ryan Barr. Unofficially running out to your field. As with that, let's take it down trackside. Thank you, Brian. Kevin Thomas Jr. going to pick up Simpson Race Products Heat Race number one. Up there on the list for all-time USAC Amsoil National Sprint Car wins here at Lawrenceburg Speedway. It's safe to say this is a place that Kevin Thomas Jr. generally tends to excel, and it is no different to kick off the night tonight in KT. We've heard a lot about the dirt being different, the configuration being a little bit different. What are some of the things you're noticing early on? Uh, well, it obviously is different. It's a lot smoother than normal, but uh, we've also moved down the track quite a bit, so uh, 
the older I get, the more I kind of like that. So um, other than that, we got a good car. I didn't qualify as good as what I wanted to, but, uh, you know, we can race well. So, uh, you know, I think that'll put us starting seventh in the feature, and we'll just have to work our way forward from there. Look pretty good to me. Kevin Thomas, Jr., your winner of Simpson Race Products, heat race number one. Thank you very much. Heat race number two brought to you by Ron and Supply, making its way out to the speedway. Car staging down to the front straightaway. Lineup set to roll to the green like this. Driver on the pole is at a Littleton, Colorado in the Altos Power Equipment. BG Darty Racing. Hornbeck Concrete number 15 is going to be Carson Garrett. Lining up next to him, the 17 GP. The driver is out of Worthington, Indiana. Driving the Lifestyle Homes, Michael Dutcher Motorsports, Griffin's Propane Pro Source, Parallax Motorsports. Midwest Down to Services 17, that will be Jaden Rogers. Second row from the inside and five, you'll find Chase Stock, and he's at a Fort Branch, Indiana. In the Bandadag LLC, Fisher DRC Chassis, Davis Brothers Superior Tank and Trailer, Amsoil number 5S. Lining up at the fourth starting spot, that will be Sabin Bybend. He's at a Cincinnati, Ohio. In the Epoxy Systems, Triple X, J&D Chevrolet, Glenn Farms, Indy Race Parts number 98. Looking to your third row from the inside, the 15X, well, that's C.J. Leary. He's at a Greenfield, Indiana. Driving the Altos Power Equipment, one-way DRC Chassis. High Smith Guns, number 15X. Lining up to his right from the sixth starting spot out of Ione, California, the NOS Energy Drink, Bow Foundation, Kissler Max, number four, it'll be Justin Grand. As we look to your final row from the inside, it'll be Hunter Maddox out of Bedford, Indiana, the Air Masters Heating and AC, Bob Cummins Racing Engine, Precision Guttering, number 24M, and your final starter. Had some mechanical problems earlier tonight. We'll see if he has it rectified here for the heat race. Nate Carley is at West Harrison, Indiana, driver of the Benson Tree Service, D&D Racing Engine, DRC Chassis, Jack's Trucking, number 14C. That'll be your scheduled lineup here for Rod and Supply Heat Race number two. So Kevin Thomas Jr. picking up Heat Race number one, his second Heat Race score of the season. Toyota Race to Development Pace Truck onto the back straightaway field. Get a jackrabbit around and find him. Caution light's going to go dark field. Working, working, excuse me. Down the front straightaway. And it looks like problems do continue for Carly, the 14. Going to be a no-show there at the back of the field. So lineup set to look like this. Carson Garrett on the pole. Jaden Rogers next to him. Chase Stockton and Saban by Benton, row number two. C.J. Leary, Justin Grant, row number three. And Hunter Maddox now set to start all by himself in row number four. Field set to go to green. They come around to the NOS Energy start can of a turn number four. They find the throttle. We're underway. Hop it up in the right rear. Can he calm it down? He can, but the caution light's going to come on. And officials not happy with the start and the jump going to be called in the 17 GP of Jaden Rogers. He will be docked a row here on the restart. So a jump on the start going to cost him a row here, and that will advance the five of Stockin to the outside of the front row again, side by side, nose to tail, till they come to that NOS Energy start can there at the exit of turn number four. Carson Garrett brings it back to green. Garrett going to hug the bottom here on the start, going to take off at the lead as they work to the back straightway. Stockin chasing on the outside. Does he get a run this time through turns three and four? Does he lead lap number one? Drag race off at turn number four, and it will be Carson Garrett with the advantage. .078 at the line. Stock and trying to keep that momentum rolling, though, on the outside. Going to lose some ground as they work onto the back straightaway. Jaden Rogers right now running in third. Race for the four spot. Justin Grant has it. He's got company, though. The 15, C.J. Leary. Trying to get a run on him. Not able to get it there, though. Justin Grant trying to get a run on third there for a second. Nothing happening. 
As again, Leary going to try to peek to the inside. Battle for the lead, though, is on. Here comes Stockton to the outside. At the line, he's got it. .054 seconds. Stockton leading lap number three. Carries that momentum to the back straightway. Going to secure it now as they work into turns three and four. Adjusts his line a little bit further down. Blocks the charge of Garrett. Garrett going to fall to second as Stockton comes to the cross flags. Four in, four to go. It is Stockton high. Garrett low. Battle for the lead is on once again here. Carson Garrett trying to muscle his way back up into the top spot here. Stockton up the banking off of turn number four. Able to hold on to the lead. Garrett still right there in 15. Justin Grant closing in on him right now as he rides in that third spot. Carson Garrett, good run to the back straightaway. Not enough, though. Chase Stockton buries the right rear hard into the racing surface. Hold on to it. Oh, look out. Garrett with a bobble through turns three and four. Justin Grant there to try to capitalize. Can't get it. The NOS Energy number four there lurking now as they work onto the back straightway. Two laps remain. White flag coming this time. It'll be Stockin with some breathing room. Carson Garrett still right there with Justin Grant in tow. Jaden Rogers running it for C.J. Leary. That's your top five as we work onto the back straightway for the final time. Driver to Fort Branch, Indiana. Going to work off a of turn number four. The checkered flag is going to fly in this one. And Chase Stockin going to pick up his second heat race of the season. Carson Garrett crossing in second. Justin Grant in third. Jaden Rogers, C.J. Leary, and officially your top five. Irana Supply Heat Race number two. But your winner, ladies and gentlemen, he pilots the Bandit Ag, Davis Brothers, Superior t Truck and Trailer, Amsoil, Ted Brown Quality Paints of Bonnie's Fisher Power, number five, S-Race fans, give him a hand, Chase Stockin. Chase Stockin with a win, Carson Garrett crossing in second, Justin Grant in third, Jaden Rogers in fourth, C.J. Leary in fifth, Saban Bybin in sixth, and Hunter Maddox crossing in seventh. Unfortunately, Nathan Carley was a no-show in Ronda Supply Heat Race number two. So second heat race win of the season for the driver of the number five. He'll roll down to victory lane, and we're going to send things down to Christy. Thanks, Brian. Chase Stockin out of Fort Branch, Indiana, always comes out swinging when it comes to Lawrenceburg Speedway. Puts the 5S in victory lane for Rod and Supply Heat Race number two. Chase, some really good clean racing there going on between you and Carson Garrett. What was the preferred lane? Yeah, that was a pretty fun little battle there. I just was trying to make clean, smooth laps. And, um, you know, the racetrack here tonight, we were pretty excited to try out the new Lawrenceburg, to be honest with you. So, uh, you know, this is a place we've been really fast and really horrible at over the years. And, uh, you know, I kind of like this new configuration. It's got a lot of character. And, you know, elbows up is pretty damn fun around here. Starts off pretty fast so far for Chase Stock, and you're winner of Rod and Supply Heat Race number two. Thank you very much, and he, it has been a minute since Stockton has gone to victory lane in USAC National Competition here at Lawrenceburg. In fact, all the way back to September of 2012. So a great way to start off his night with a heat race win. Third and final heat race for the USAC Amsoil Sprint Car National Championship. Brought to you by TJ Ford. Staged out to the front straightway. Driver set for the pole comes to you to Raisin City, California. The AME Electrical for CFLA Transportation. Spike Stanton powered Walker Filtration 19AZ. That's going to be Mitchell Moles lining up next to him. You'll find Sean Westerfeld. He's out of Guilford, Indiana, driving the Impressive Creations. Westerfeld powered DRC chassis, number 4J. Next row from the inside, that's Brady Bacon. He's out of Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, driving the Basil Race Fields. Rider Triple X chassis, Davis Brothers. Fatheads, next level medals. Telstar Technologies, number 69. And lining up to his right, that will be Nick Bilby. He's out of Martinsville, Indiana, driving the Carl Ferry Trucking and Demolition. JD Chevrolet Power, DRC chassis. Bennett Logging, number 17. Kyle Cummins out of Princeton, Indiana. They want to win to endure. Stanton Mach 1 chassis, number 3P. He'll go for the fifth starting spot. And next to him, Driver chasing a record here tonight. Logan Seavey out of Center California. The Yamaka's racing Indy Custom Stone. MPV Express Fat has number 57. Has not finished outside of the podium since the initial green flag this season. Has gone six for six in the top three. That ties him with Tracy Hines. No driver has gone seven straight to start the season, so we'll see if Seavey. Can keep that momentum up. He's going to line up to the right of row number three in your final starter here. In heat race number three, Kayla Rell. She's out of Dillsboro, Indiana, driving the RJE Wholesale Fertilizer. Ripper Chassis, pool, general, pool Group General Contractors, excuse me. Next Gym Builders, Heavy Truck and Transmission, Davis Brothers and Southern Insurance number 5K. So 
So the field beginning to assemble behind the Toyota Race and Development pace truck as they roll into turns three and four. So Rail lining up at the back of the field. She is 16 years of age. Placed fourth in the 115-pound weight class at the Indiana High School Girls Wrestling State Finals in Kokomo this year. Former champion of the former MSCS Series, won last year. Early in her career, won a Midwest Mini Sprint Championship. See what she can do from the back of the field. Focus at the front, though. The 19AZ, Mitchell Moles on the pole. The 4J, Sean Westerfeld next to him. Brady Bacon. Inside runner number two next to him, Nick Bilby. Kyle Cummins, Logan Seavey. And Kayla Rail round at your lineup field, set to go to green at the NOS Energy Start Can. Ooh, look out, the 19, wheel stood it. About turned it down into the infield, going to cost him in a big way here. Three cars already going to make their way by, maybe four. He'll finally get a little bit of grip at the bottom side, exiting turn number two, Seavey. Still working on the outside, but up front, it will be the four. Westerfeld leading, Bilby running in second. Brady Bacon chasing in that third spot. Logan Seavey up at the fourth. Mitchell Moles shuffle back to fifth. Oh, big time bicycle over in turns three and four. Thought they opened a huffy shop. 17 somehow saves it. And Bilby thought he was going to go up into the wall there for a second in a blaze of glory. Great save, great job. He's going to lose several positions, though. Brady Bacon going to take over that second spot. Chasing the 4J. Work onto the back straightway, closes it up within a couple of car links here. Coming around this time to the cross flags. Bacon, just in line a little bit there in the middle of turn number four, trying to go all the way down to the bottom and find some moisture now. Takes that left front, goes Chili Bowl style on that inside hub, has a run to the back straightway, and you'll have a new leader, the Macho Man. Looking to shake something off here at the start of the season, see if he can get up and pick up a heat race win. Comes around and he's going to lead lap number five. It is Bacon leading. Westerfield falls to second. Ooh, a little bit of a bobble by the 4J. Logan Seavey trying to capitalize. Wasn't able to get there fast enough, though. Mitchell Moles running in fourth. Bilby back to fifth. Cummins and Rell right now running at your running order. Logan Seavey in the Abacus race in for 57. He's going to patrol to the outside of the speedway into turns one and two. The 4J down to the bottom. Holds on to that second spot. White flag coming this time for the Macho Man. Brady Bacon going to work onto the back straightway for the final time here in TJ Ford's heat race number three. Westerfeld trying to hold on to that second spot through two more turns of racing, but the checkered flag is out. Brady Bacon picks up the heat race win. Logan Sieve in the outside going to streak by for the second spot. Westerfeld going to cross in third. Bowles, Bilby, that's going to be your top five unofficially. That's your winner, ladies and gentlemen. Drive of the Basel Race Fields. Rider Power Triple X Chassis, Davis Brothers, Telstar Technologies, Fatheads, number 69. Race fans, give them a hand. The Macho Man, Brady Bacon. Logan Seavey in second. Sean Westerfeld in third. Mitchell Moles in fourth. Kyle Cummins in fifth, excuse me. Nick Bilby in sixth. And Kayla Rell rounding out your field unofficially as we'll send it down to Christy. Well, I don't talk to Brady Bacon very often on a personal level, but I do know it has not been the start to the 2024 Amsoil USAC National Sprint Car season that he had hoped for for himself and the 69 team. And Brady, when we get to Lawrenceburg Speedway, everything changes. Saw you kind of change your lined up there in three and four coming out of that corner. How much searching is going on to make sure you're you're perfect tonight? Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot. You know, it's a lot different than, you know, it used to be. And um, they've made some changes. I think it'll be good once the track gets worked in. After the spring, all the rain's over, but right now there's a couple holes in a couple spots. You just got to miss those and kind of keep your speed up. The track just is real spotty, so pretty challenging, pretty fun. Should be a good race. Brady Bacon, you're a winner of TJ Forge Car IQ Heat Race number three and looking to get some things turned around, Brian. Indeed, and so far off on the right foot to get that done as we wrap up heat races tonight with the USAC Amsoil Sprint Car National Championship. Brady Bacon picking up his third of the season. As with that, I do believe UMP Modifieds. Coming up next, let's send it back over to Chad. Thank you very much, Brian. And ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for the first of four heat races for the Colossal Fireworks Insanity Modifieds. 29 cars checked into the pit area here tonight to do battle in four different heat races. You saw them hot lap and qualify earlier on this evening. So heat race number one would be the cars that you saw in qualifying group number one. Here's the way they will line up your pulse sitter. Out of St. Mary's, Ohio, this is sponsored by Advanced Machine Solutions, SutterBrothers.com, Tractor Parts, 
Mobile One Express Loop, TJ Hunt Trucking, Diamond Race Cars.